Welcome back and in today's video, we will be talking about the two architectures, the on-premise architecture and the cloud computing architecture. But before that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. We'll start off by talking about the meanings of the two terms, then the location of the systems, how the systems are being controlled, operation and maintenance of it, backup and data storage ability, data security, and finally the cost needed to implement these two systems. So let's get started. First of all, we'll talk about the meanings of the two terms. So on-premise or on-premises is a traditional method where a software is installed and it runs on computers on the premises of the person or organization behind its firewall rather than a remote facility. But cloud is an off-premise software where you get access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources which includes networks, servers, storage, applications and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction so users only have to install an application or a web browser to access these services now let's talk about the location on-premise software is established within the organization's internal system along with the hardware and other infrastructure necessary for the software to function but a cloud-based software is usually served via the internet and it can be accessed by users online regardless of the time and their location now let's go into how these architectures are being controlled. So in the on-premise model, the user gets more control compared to the cloud model because they get the opportunity to write their own code, use their own server, monitor and deploy the software, scale the servers, make changes in the computational capacity, storage capacity and even take care of their security. But in the cloud platform, all of these are provided and controlled by the cloud provider. So according to these, the users have more flexibility in the on-premise model than the cloud model because the present, but you know, the present day cloud models are more flexible. So the flexibility depends on the user's needs. But the drawback of using an on-premise when considering flexibility is that the user has to update their own software and they have to stay with the market on their own. Now let's talk about the operation and maintenance. The entity using on-premise software are fully responsible for the daily operations and maintenance of the system by itself and it should be managed by IT professionals at the organization. But on the other hand, for cloud-based software, it is a software provider who is responsible for the system operations and maintenance. Therefore, no IT professionals need to be hired with the entity that is within the entity specifically for the purpose of operating the software. So all the upgrades will be done by the provider. Now let's talk about the backup and data storage. As for the maintenance and operations, the entity using on-premises software is also responsible for backup and storage of software data. This implies the ability of the entity to have a full control over its data and its security. But for cloud-based software, the entity has no requirement of data backup by itself, as this is a responsible of the software provider and data backup is percussive for the provider in offering their services. So getting the data back will be a difficult task in the cloud because the providers most of the time provide some packages which you have to use sometimes you know you will have to be a premium member to do that so retrieving your data might be a little bit difficult and costly when it comes to the cloud now let's talk about data security so on-premises solutions give companies confidence that their servers are locked down they don't need to trust any company with their private data because they can include the policies that the organization wants but data security in the cloud on the other hand is handled by the cloud provider so the owner is expected to give up on certain controls and sometimes you might be sharing your data with other companies which could even be a competitor of yours but now the present day cloud computing is very secure but at the end of the day it is up to you the user to decide what you want to share and with you who you want to share all these data with now finally let's talk about the cost for these models so for on-premises software there are several costs expected to incur until the software and its services would be fully available for use 
First of all, the construction of the on-premise software within the organization requires high initial costs, including costs incurred for the purchase of hardware and other infrastructure, as well as the costs required for the software installation and examination. And in addition to this, the entity is entitled to the purchase of the license of the particular software, which involves costs and time for the preparation and required procedures. Furthermore, in order to maintain the software functionality, sustainable maintenance and operations are required and the entity will be subjected to the costs incurred for these as well. But on the other hand, when you talk about the uh, cloud, in general, the initial costs required for the use of software services are considerably considered relatively low for cloud-based software and therefore it is suitable to small enterprises without a large amount of capital. Moreover, cloud-based software users are not subjected to license fees as well as maintenance and operation costs since these are on the hands of the software vendors. Furthermore, costs incurred for the infrastructure are expected to be smaller compared to on-premises software as the users only need an electronic device which you know they so they can access these services although the initial cost for the access to these services are usually low for cloud-based software total costs required for the use of the software over a specific time period are unsure as cloud-based software requires a routine payment where the cloud software uses a pay-as-you-go model where the users have to pay for the resources that they use depending on the time period that they're using and cloud-based systems allow the user to invest more time money and resources into fulfilling their core business business strategies rather than the IP infrastructure. So that's the end of the comparison between the two architectures, the on-premise architecture and the cloud computing architecture. And if you need any explanation regarding tech related topics, put that in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe to this channel and hit that like button as well.